I can't fucking believe it. But Apple just released another round of MacBook devices going into 2024, and they still have only 8 gigabytes of RAM on the base model. What the fuck is going on? This has been a trend that has been going on since 2012. It's been over 10 years. It was enough in 2012, but it's not even close in 2024. If we take a look at the newest iMac that is finally refreshed since the M1 after all these years, every single one of the starting lineups have 8 gigabytes of RAM, even up to this one, which costs $1,700. Apple has tried to make this look like it's something that's okay for their devices with their whole unified memory architecture. But it, although it's better than a Windows machine, it's still not nearly enough. They have 10 Chrome tabs open. You're gonna be hitting the upper limit of your RAM and going into swap memory. This is something that I always noticed on my old MacBook before I switched to this one. With eight gigabytes of RAM, there were constant hinges, constant issues. And as soon as I upgraded to 32 gigs, all that was immediately gone. I remember MKBHD talked about this, saying that Apple very strategically upcharges you. But it's really just BS because they have a device that is so capable and is bottlenecked by such a low amount of memory. And the worst part is if you want to upgrade the RAM to make the device actually usable, it is so expensive. Doubling from 8 gigs to 16 gigs is 200 US dollars. To put into perspective, in a PC build, an extra 8GB stick of RAM that's comparable in performance would probably be around $30, maybe, to the consumer. So to Apple and wholesale, it's probably like $3, $4. There's absolutely no reason why they should be doing this, and it's really perplexing, to be honest. Apple has always been only competing with themselves in their own niche, and I don't know why they would want their devices to be so underperformant at the base model. All it's going to do is frustrate people, because once you buy it, you can't upgrade it after the fact. Storage as well, immensely expensive. Two terabytes of storage is $600. You get a two terabyte MVME on Amazon now for like $80. I do understand this is really strategic for Apple, but I feel like they're shooting themselves in the foot a little bit here. These devices have not been through many revisions from a design perspective over the years, and there's really no reason why they need to be charging such a premium for something as basic as having enough RAM to do basic computing tasks like browsing the web and watching videos, because that is really where it's already going to start falling flat. And if you do anything more complicated like video editing, completely disregard the base model devices. I really thought that the last generation models were going to be the last time 8 gigs became a thing because of how poorly they performed, but here we are again in the same exact spot. It's almost like we're playing a game at this point of how far into the 2020s are they going to bring it before they decide to make their devices work at the base model. It's just really disappointing to me because I know a lot of people who don't know about this are going to buy into Apple's scheme of it being enough given the unified memory architecture, but this device is already outdated from the second you buy it. It's like, let alone future-proofing, right when you start using it, it's going to be having issues. Two, three years down the line, it's going to be completely unusable. If you're spending $1,700 on a desktop like the iMac, that's ridiculous. It's just such a shame when we see the new M3 architecture being so powerful and so impressive, and then you have a subsystem on top of it that cannot support it. It's just bizarre. I'm hoping that the next generation this finally changes, so maybe this is one to skip, but time will tell, and you know Apple, and it has been about 14 years now, 12 to 14 years, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching this quick video, and if you took anything from it, please do like, comment, and of course subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.